Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. Thanks for joining me today. I am finally back with a new one. So it's been a while since I uploaded. I had many things going on and YouTube wasn't really a priority for me in the past month, but I'm back. And it doesn't mean that I haven't been drawing because I have been drawing a lot and I have some very fun new pieces to show you in the upcoming weeks. So. I'll be back uploading again every Thursday and in this video you'll see me working on these beautiful Indian elephants or Asian elephants in pastels on pastel mat. It's a relatively small and quick piece, it only took three hours and you can find the full real-time lesson over on Patreon for the $4 members. So if you're interested in following along, uh, have a look through the link in the description. You can find everything there, all the other lessons as well. And also a library with an overview of all the lessons if you're interested in seeing in what I uh, have available. So let's get going. So while you see me working on these elephants, I also wanted to talk a little bit about art block and how to prevent it. There are many videos available on how to deal with art block or how to overcome it, but I wanted to talk or give you some tips of how to prevent art block and how I'm able to always create new drawings, new pieces without getting bored or um, without getting uninspired. I always feel inspired to do new drawings. So let's give you some tips about that. So. Oh, first, I'm working with Stabilo Carpetello pastel pencils on pastel mat. The color is um, gray, and that's basically it. It's 8 by 8 inches. So that's everything you need to know about the drawing. And let's get right on with tip number one. And tip number one is to take enough breaks and also to not push yourself. So I take uh, lots of breaks during my pieces, but also in between drawings. So that's important because allowing yourself to take a couple of days off from drawing after finishing one, it also gives me, it always gives me new inspiration for new pieces and also just focusing on completely different things for a few days and not thinking about drawing always makes me excited to start new work again. And definitely don't push yourself if you don't feel like drawing. Um, if I don't feel like starting a new piece, I sometimes wait another day or another two days and uh, that always helps and don't push yourself. Also in between pieces, I take a lot of breaks so I can always come back to the drawing with new fresh eyes and I always see new details to add and things to adjust and in the end it leads to better pieces, which also gives me more energy. All right, so that is tip number one. Don't push yourself and take enough breaks. Okay, so then tip number two is to switch between different materials if you have them available. That really prevents me from burning out. I think if I had only worked with colored pencil, I would have burned out on colored pencil. So that's why I switch between colored pencil and pastels. I combine them sometimes. Sometimes I also uh, work with graphite still. And um, every month switching between all these materials helps me to not get burnt out on one of them, especially the more um, time consuming materials like color pencil. I don't think I'd, I'd be able to do only one of these because I would just get bored. So if you have access to multiple different materials, maybe even paints or markers, um, switch it up. And also make sure to do some smaller sketches sometimes. So then you, um, you're you not always looking up to doing large, um, time consuming and energy draining pieces. So switch it up between the materials, but also the size of the drawings. So then tip number three is the subjects you're drawing. So I always, try to pick pieces or uh, subjects that I currently feel really passionate about. So I, that's why I didn't, um, I stopped taking commissions because when you do commissions, you sometimes have to draw photos. You, you're not feeling 
a connection with. So um, doing wildlife for me really helps with uh, picking subjects that I'm currently really into. So currently I'm really into fish and birds I really like, any big cats I always love to draw. So that's actually one of my biggest tips for staying inspired. Always draw things that you are into and um, if you're doing commissions, maybe also allow yourself to do some other pieces for yourself in between commissions to prevent yourself from burning out or getting an art block. So for me, it's very important to not burn out or not uh, get an art block because I have to pay my bills with my art. So applying all these tips of drawing things I'm passionate about or uh, take enough breaks in between and switch it up in between materials, it really helps me. And that's how I basically never get an art block. I never be, I, I never am uninspired. I am sometimes a little bit tired. So when I'm noticing that I'm getting too tired to draw, I really have to take a break. And after a few days, I always feel inspired and excited to draw again. So I actually have some more tips. So tip number four is to try something new. So maybe you've never painted before, or maybe you've never used markers before or did uh, 10 minute sketches, for instance, before. So try something new and don't pressure yourself too much with it and have fun with a new material. So I actually picked up uh, oil painting not too long ago. I haven't painted in a few weeks, but that's no problem. I tried it and I have really enjoyed it. So that gave me so much um, inspiration as well for my drawings because the paints and the techniques you use with painting, I can also now apply to my pencil work. And that has really helped me getting some new inspiration. So maybe, um, yeah, try out a new material if you have access to it. Um, you can do paintings or drawings with so many different materials, even coffee. So there are some budget friendly options for you. So be creative with it and try out new things once in a while. And then the final tip is tip number five. And it might not be um, suitable for everyone, but for me it really helps. And that is to give myself deadlines. So I have to make three new drawings every month. That's my deadline because I have to do three new tutorials every month for Patreon. And sometimes I need to, to even do more than that. But to give myself those deadlines every month helps me to keep going and to be in a certain flow um, at least for three weeks a month and just recording, editing, uploading. And that way I also stay inspired, but that, not, that might not be um, suitable for everyone. So if you feel pressured quite easily, if you don't work well under pressure, this one might not work for you, but for me, it does work really well. So I tend to do quite well under pressure and I tend to work very well when I have deadlines. So I am giving myself deadlines. So try it out. Maybe it works, maybe it does not, but um, give it a go. And also reward yourself when you finish something. So yeah, you can try that. Maybe these tips help you. So let's um, put them all together. So tip number one was to take enough breaks and not push yourself. So this one is quite the opposite of tip number five, but I put them together. So I do give myself deadlines, but I also allow myself to take enough breaks. And by planning this all very well, I stay in a certain uh, flow and that way I stay inspired. And then tip number two was to uh, switch it up. Switch up the materials if you have access to multiple materials. For me, switching between graphite, color pencil and pastels really help to not burn out on any of them. Then tip number three is to draw subjects you are passionate about. Then tip number four was to try new materials, um, even if it's just painting with coffee 
And then tip number five is to give yourself deadlines if you feel like you can work well under pressure. So yeah, these were my five tips for preventing art block. And also let me know yours in the comments below um, if, you've ha if you have applied any of these and if they work well for you. So let me know down below. I'm very interested in hearing your experiences with these. And I hope you like how these elephants turn out. They only took three hours, so that's very quick for me. So for me, this was also a really good um, quick drawing to do um, in between the larger pieces. So this one is on Patreon if you want to follow along with this lesson. You also get the reference and the color list and of course the narration and all the instructions. So I hope you liked it and let me know um, what you thought of this video. So that brings this video to an end. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and then I'll see you in the next one.